Well, okay. So I'm at my uh, usual favourite spot to come and have a cup of tea on a sunny day or a rainy day or basically any day I can bloody well get out. Um, I've got the old out kit going and I've got to say they do go quick don't they? I mean that's about two cups of water in there. Oh less than a minute and look at it go. Right so yes. Jet boils out kits. I mean, bloody hell, Baldrick, that works well. It's quite windy and breezy here, but um, I had to get out and try the old beast out in the woods. And literally, <laughs> I put the water on, threw the cap on, didn't bother to snap it down or anything. Just put it on this stump. Like I said, there is a breeze blowing. By the time I got this phone out, ready to film, um, it's boiled already. So I'm gonna have myself a brew. I've got the uh, basic brew kit with me today. You know, a bit of water, a few coffee bags coffee these are brilliant if you've not seen them before these are ground coffee in a bag just like a tea bag if you haven't got a percolator put that on just let it soak um, the idea is you let them steep and soak and then if you need to you can heat the water up again and you've got yourself a nice cup of coffee nice tasting coffee too here is uh, Stony Broke Stick doing double duty as a bag hanger. And hanging on the bag is this strap. Now Vic, the Welsh prepper made this for me. You've seen it in one of my other videos. I don't know how you did it, Vic, but that is the absolute perfect, perfect length for my shoulder bag. Okay, it's really comfortable to wear because it's nice and wide. Okay, it's nice and padded. And when I've got this bag on, which is the British Army large respirator bag or field pack whatever they call it these days field have a sack i can't remember now they keep changing the name um when i've got this on where is it yeah field pack when i've got that beastie on it sits just on my hip on the top of my buttocks on my bum that's right it just sits there lovely it doesn't swing and swish about it just absolutely sits perfectly over the shoulder onto um my now thinner bum because I am losing weight hopefully um, so Vic absolutely amazing it could not be a more perfect length mate it could not be absolutely I didn't have to change it at all wonderful stuff cheers for that Vic you are a star and on Tuesday today being Saturday the was it the 11th on Tuesday you should be getting a little surprise through the post Vic I've managed to find something a bit special for you uh, so I've sent it out um, so there we are, but the Stony Broke Stick, Vic's strap, uh, and the brew kit, the dog, who just had a bit of a shock because he walked into the water, slipped and went under. <laughs> oh, look at his face, he don't look very happy, does he? And out in there for a brew in the lovely sunshine. Now let's see how this is getting on. Gratuitous shots, yes, there's the water starting to leap out, leak, seep out now. There you are. Now the idea is you let them sit. Someone says you let them sit for five minutes. And eventually that coffee just oozes out, but I'm not sure I can wait that long, so I might have to just get a spoon in there and stir that round of it. And then have a cup of coffee. I'm not bothering to get a cup out, because that is a big cup all on its own, so why make two things dirty? All I'll do is I'll sluice it out with some water, rinse it out, and wash it out when I get home. Um, but what a bit of kit. What a fantastic bit of kit. I've always put off getting one, because I thought they were a bit of a one-trick pony, only boiling water, but... Um, I'm getting a little thing I'm going to make to turn it into a cooker. So I've got a stove and a brew kit. So there we are. I'm going to turn it into a universal thing. There is a pot stand you can get for the jet boil ones. If I know that they've got one they don't want, please send it to me because I can't find one around here. Uh, otherwise I'm going to have to make one. But apart from that, like I said, jet boil do a little pot stand which goes on theirs, which folds up which apparently fits this as well so like i said if you've got one out there you want to trade for something or sell it to me cheap or just give it to me i don't care you just get in contact with me we'll work some sort of deal out otherwise i'll have to uh, make one which i'm i'm happy to do anyway because i make stuff, stuff all the time now those of you that know me can see i've got the black cover on this the original cover i did buy for a bit of a gag i bought a jet boil camo pouch which was too small a uh, little camo neoprene cover. <laughs> I stretched the living crap out of it, putting it on there just for a gag. It did look crap, I've got to say. It did look crap, so I took it off again. So I'm still in the original jet boil livery, 
but I'm after a different lid. So if any of you have got experience of these things and you know what lid fits them, I want to get rid of that horrible red lid. It's crap, it's, just, it's not even a decent red, it's sort of pinky red, it's, oh, it's disgusting. So I'm gonna bin that, I don't care if it's a hard lid or a plastic lid, as long as it goes on there. So if any of you know anything about those and can recommend a lid for them, let me know. Otherwise I'll have to make one of those as well. Oh my God, it's just too much. Well anyway, just a quick one, like I said, while the old uh, ducks are on the lake and while it's nice and quiet and while the actual blue sky is showing, for once it's showing when I'm off, not while I'm at work. Uh, yeah, this should be great. Well, like I said, it was just a quick update uh, to show you the brew kit in action and to show the water in a sunny day, because normally when I stand here it's pissing down with rain or it's freezing cold, but today it's lovely. And like all of us, we should get out and get into the woods. Even if it's just to walk the dog, somehow just getting into the woods makes you feel better. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. So Vic for your strap, Andy, Stony Broke for the stick. Thank you so, so much. And uh, now I'm gonna get me brew going on and I'm gonna chill out. Cheers, guys. See you later. Big ups to all the MTFT crew, MTFU crew, sorry, MTFT. That's for the tossers, that is. <laughs> MTFU rules. Cheers and guys, bye now.